Hello painters, how are you? Today I want to make a longer painting session with you. I cannot fit the full palette on the screen because today I have a bigger panel, but you can see here the color palette that I'm using. Titanium white, Hansa yellow, lemon yellow, ochre, some naptol or vermilion, some quinacridone magenta, burnt umber, dioxx purple, some ultramarine, I have two here, don't ask why because I don't know, tallow green, some sap green, and cobalt teal. I'm using some medium too, this time it's leaking, and some thinner. These are the brushes that I'm using. They are mostly flat because they are the easiest to get on the market, but I also have some daggers like this one. This is the picture that I'm using for reference. I like it because it has the little plushie that I like to paint and experiment with, plus the bathroom sink tab. Let's do this. For the sketching part, I am going to use one of these acrylic markers that is super convenient. I will link another video here if you want to know some ways I have to make some sketches. But for now, I'm going to make a quick grid for me and start sketching. I think I prefer sketching with the regular brush and regular acrylics, but sometimes these fine brushes give me the chance to detail much better before the actual painting. For example, here, these details that I couldn't be able to make with the brush or not that clean. For example, here, I can easily separate each part so when I'm painting, I can know which part is from the sink, which, which part is the darkest one, which is here. This line for me doesn't exist, this some mistake I made, and it will be much, much faster. I hope. And I won't make every detail from the background, because I think with these elements is already enough. So I am going to imagine that the wall goes from here okay we have some purples I'm going to make this a bit more red for example to make gray the blue we can add some orange or in this case red you can see clearly how you are desaturating the color i also need some darker purple with this deox purple with some ochre and some white Okay, now that I have the drawing at the premixes, I'm going to start with the darks of the main object. This will make the drawing a bit more clear to see, so everything is going to be easier. The key is to focus on what you see in the picture. Okay, this purple is way too dark. I am going to add some of this to warm this up a bit. And vibrant tone for the tenta. Okay, I think the purple part is quite done. I'm going to fill the grays and blues. Okay, so with the blues we made, we're going to fill 
ni Caps. Here we have some cool grays, aka blues, but we also have some warm grays. So we have to do the same as here, but with some warm tones. Now what happens here is that these blues aren't standing as much because the base is already cool. So we are going to add some bright yellows. Here, here. I'm going to switch to a smaller brush. Let me add some details. Now I'm going to make these yellows and blues pop a bit with some white, yellow, let me have some highlight here, some here. These are the warm highlights and now I'm going to add also the cool highlights with some blue. Super thick and just a pinch of blue. Super, super thick. And now I am going to add some little dots. Now to make this pop, I'm going to add some yellow just below. And lastly the whites, but only in the most shiny ones. Okay, the main object is done, so I am going to move to make the little guy here. I am using this super large brush and I am going to mix some nice purples. I'm going to reuse this too. First, I am going to add the cool ones this is almost like blue so I am going to use blue to make even more sensation of these cool tones and now with this almost black the deox purple I'm going to make these wrinkles here. And now with the warm pink, 
I am going to And now with red, we are going to add some highlights. Some red with yellow. Let me use some blue, ultramarine with some white. Because with this, I am going to make the lights from the outside. And this is the next day. I'm so sorry I forgot to record the painting of the little face of the octopus. But let's continue. In general, I like to make the colors in the mirror a bit less saturated than in the real part. The main objects, for example, are almost the same, but it's okay because they are super close. But the rest, it's like it was a bit faded. And indeed, I am going to fade all the way because I am going to blend it. You'll see. And now for the blue part, for the ceramics, I'm going to mix some white with this cobalt teal, with just a pinch. And I need to make it a bit less chromatic because I am going to paint the mirror part first. And for that, I'm using this orange, complementaries, so they are gonna make a beautiful grayish tone and I have here my blue and my less blue so with the same brush maybe the more, most intense part could be this one And now what I like to do is grab some white brush like this and just, just a bit. This will create the illusion that this is another plane. And the effect is pretty cool in my opinion. This way we are going to have more colors here in this plane, more variations. We can see here that the contrast is super low between the, the tap and the soap, but here we need a darker 
border. We'll add it a bit later. Maybe we need some blues to create some contrast for the highlights because we have here again cool highlights and warm ones. So I am making some blue pops, some warm ones. Now the only thing remaining is the seam and for that I am going to need some different blues. We need to focus on the shadows and the different shapes that light is making. First we need some, something similar to this, like before, to make the upper part. Some low chroma, high value green. Now we need some violet for some parts that I am seeing here. And now I need the variations for here. I am going to do them on the go. But this color is super intense, so we need some blues. We can recycle all of this, why not? And this is going to be our sink. Maybe we need some lighter parts. It's some white, it's going to get less chromatic, but it's okay because we are going to add some yellow to make this a bit greener. And now again, I need a darker purple. And for that, I'm, I am going to use the ultramarine because with this is enough. So we have here our mixes because we are going to use quite a lot of paint. We are using mid-range value and high value ones. Purple, blue, green, purple, green. This way we are going to have interesting variations and, and tones to make this large part, which is almost flat, more interesting. Some violets for the shadow. This shadow is super subtle. Now I am mixing on the go with my violet, adding an extra magenta for this part, which is a bit darker. We have here almost some pure cobalt teal. Again, the contrast between the tap and the sink is not enough here. I, I need to add some edges. I need to add the bottom part of the legs that I forgot in the beginning and now it's going to be more complicated but we know they are there I am going to just insinuate them Okay, and now that everything is covered, I am going to review the edges and the contrast to make some adjustments. For example, here we need just some edge. Here we need some lighter one. going to repeat I don't like the text 
okay we can also And this is the final result. I hope you like it. I hope you have enjoyed the painting session. And I hope you like the little scene with the plushie because I am planning to do more of this style. Painting both the plushies and the daily scenes. If you have any ideas, let me know. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!